Does paying people to quit smoking work? In a new randomized trial, investigators tested different financial incentive programs for smoking cessation and showed that they do work, at least a little. In the control group, which followed a usual care program consisting of anti-smoking aids and other resources, but no financial rewards, the quit rate at six months was 6%. In one type of reward program, in which smokers received $800 if they were abstinent at six months, 16% were successful in quitting. In another program, investigators asked smokers to put down $150 of their own money with the idea that they would more than quadruple it if they were abstinent at six months. In smokers randomized to this skin-in-the-game approach, only about 10% succeeded in quitting. But this was in part because more than 85% of them refused the intervention. More than half of those who did accept the deposit-based program achieved sustained abstinence through six months. So offering financial rewards does help people quit, but exactly how you do it makes a difference. This trial at the interface of behavioral economics and medical practice can help us get people to quit smoking. And we need all the help we can get because tobacco remains a leading cause of preventable death around the world. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.